Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and join Dr. Jennifer Nasser, Associate Professor, Nutrition Sciences, in singing the National Anthem. Please remain standing for the invocation, which will be given by David Piltz, CLM, of the Open Door Christian Community, Drexel Campus Ministries. Good evening, faculty, professional staff, guests, family members, and of course, the graduating class of 2017. <laughs> Welcome and peace and blessings to each of you. Let this time of celebration and achievement fully recognize that your life is more than what you have learned, more than your accomplishments, more than your successes. It is about the relationships you have made with each other and the relationship you have with the sacred. May this time of celebrating achievements and accomplishments that you have worked so hard at completing demonstrate your gifts of the spirit and your connectedness to each other in this world. May this time of celebration of your human accomplishment while heeding the call of your soul to be connected to each other, the world, and the sacred. May each of you recognize with gratitude, patience, kindness, openness, hope, and honor the sacredness in not only your daily lives, but specifically in you reaching this great accomplishment. The active presence of the sacred and living spirit is invoked in this place here during this time of celebration and graduation. Graduation is just one milestone of your discernment of your life's call. May this time mark not only a milestone in your life's journey, 
but also the beginning of discerning your life's work in this world. May you create a life built on the foundations of knowledge, creativity, entrepreneurship, hope, healing, love, peace, gratitude, and blessings that flow through the spirit of the sacred. And may peace and blessings follow you every day, all the day long. Welcome, and please be seated. Please welcome the Provost of Drexel University, Brian Blake. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the Drexel University College of Nursing and Health Professions. I am pleased and honored to be the first to say congratulations to the class of 2017. We are all very proud of your accomplishments and we wish you the best success as Drexel alumni. This is a day of great promise. You and our graduates are on a threshold of what I am sure will be a remarkable and rewarding career. Here to celebrate with you, we have many of those who supported and nurtured you along the way on your challenging educational journey. Among them, the dedicated faculty and professional staff members who've committed, who have been committed to your success, and of course, we're joined by family, friends, and others who have formed your greatest support network. So to our graduates, and also to your parents and family and friends, and to the faculty and professional staff who taught and assisted you, I offer my congratulations. The world is a richer place today for your efforts. With more capacity for knowledge, for innovation, and for service to others, that's why we celebrate commencement. I also want to extend a warm greeting to our commencement speaker today, David Biotta, incoming CEO of Biotta Home Healthcare. The field of home care has never been more important to the well-being of the nation and indeed the vast area of the world. Mr. Biotta's company plays a pivotal role in bringing vital services into U.S. homes across 23 states as well as overseas in India, Germany, South Korea, and Ireland. With a staff of more than 50,000 nurses, home health aides, therapists, medical social workers, and other healthcare professionals, Biota Home Healthcare not only helps people remain independent and safe in their own homes, it also stabilizes communities and bolsters healthcare safety net networks for 150,000 patients. Mr. Biota, whose undergraduate degree in economics is from Cornell, his MBA from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School, brings to his work a keen business sense and a deep knowledge of home care uh, the home care health field. I had the opportunity to talk to David uh, behind the scenes, and this is probably one of those life lessons. Uh, I met his, uh, his parents, Mark and Ann, and it turns out we, we were chatting for 20 minutes, and we realized that we met each other in Paris last year, totally unrelated. So um, <laughs> that should be a lesson to our graduates that it's a very small world, and you, know, you never know who you're gonna meet and where. So um, we look forward to hearing his insights today. Let me close by saying to our graduates that the world needs you. Our long-term health and prosperity as a society depend on how you use the education you've worked so hard to acquire. If I were to offer just one piece of advice, it is to think of your future, not just in terms of career decisions, but in terms of problems you can solve and the challenge you can help meet. If you follow your heart on those questions, then your career surely is gonna, certainly is gonna move um, your career moves will take care of themselves. I also want to make a request that you please stay connected to your alma mater. The bonds you form as Drexel students can be lifelong, and the Alumni Association of the College of Nursing Health Professions can help maintain these important relationships. I look forward to hearing about your future successes in scholarship, in your professions, or in service to others, hopefully all three. I'm so proud to share this day with you today Thank you and congratulations. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce your Dean of College of Nursing and Health Professions, Susan Smith.
Welcome. Incomplete notebook. It's my pleasure to welcome you uh, and to celebrate our students' achievements. I'm pleased to announce our Drexel University College of Nursing and Health Professions faculty, administration, are assembled here with you today, our students who we have taught, mentored, and recommended for academic degrees. We thank you for the privilege of working with you, mentoring you, and learning from you. We congratulate you all and wish you much success. Will the faculty of the College of Nursing and Health Professions please rise to salute our graduates. In addition to Provost Blake, I also welcome university administrators, including Dr. Susan Aldridge, Senior Vice President, Online Learning, and President of Drexel University Online. Susan. I'm also pleased to introduce Dr. Loretta Jamont, Vice President for Health and Health Equity and Professor in the College. I'm also particularly pleased to announce that Stephen Scheller, a Drexel University trustee and prominent Philadelphia attorney, is with us today. Steve, along with his wife Sandra, a creative art therapy and couple family therapy alumni who joins us as well, are generous supporters of the college. And it's Stephen and Sandra Scheller, 11th Street Family Health Services of Drexel University. <laughs> we have a special guest for both of you. This is a commissioned watercolor portrait of the Scheller 11th Street. We hope that it finds a special place, not only in your home, but in your heart. Congratulations and thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the first of our student speakers, Kimberly Allen, who earned her Bachelor of Science degree in nursing in 2010 and who is graduating today with a master's degree in nursing. Good evening, and thank you for that warm introduction. I'm not sure any additional warmth is needed during this toasty evening with the record heat in the 90s. Welcome st guests, faculty, staff, loved ones, and graduates of the class of 2017. I am overwhelmed to stand here as a non-traditional online student that received her primary nursing degree as a young mother from Montgomery County Community College. I'm excited to share my thoughts on the topic of looking back and moving forward. You may be at a point in your life where you are looking back and getting ready to move forward, especially during times of transition, like a graduation. I am in that transitional space, reflecting on getting ready to move forward with my MSN. You may be pondering what choices you have made up until this point in your life what kinds of choices you may be presented with in the future. Here are a few choices I've reflected upon recently and are woven with the quotes and their authors. Columnist Abigail Van Buren said, the best index to a person's character is how he treats people who can't do him any good and how he treats people who can't fight back. When I hear this quote from Dear Abby, I think about all the private trusting moments as a healthcare professional when we choose to advocate for all clients equally. I've practiced as a nurse for 17 years. 
It is still humbling to be part of a stranger's most difficult or private moment of their life, providing education and empowering them to make the choices that mean the most to them. Drexel's programs have educated us to promote social justice and healthcare equality. As we go forth and serve our clients in various wellness and health pathways, I hope we remember that. The second quote is from the book, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It's for my sons. It is our choices that show us what we truly are, far more than our abilities. From the Wizarding World, Dumbledore reminds us that we are, we, that who we are and the direction of our lives does not depend on our past. Rather, it is our choices that determine our character, personality, and the satisfaction we derive from life. When I hear this quote, I think of all the moments as a healthcare provider, when we have the opportunity to choose to stop and be present in the moment with our clients and our peers. Those moments of mindful presence will convey the empathy and kindness that are hallmarks of quality health care and teamwork more than the ability to perform our tasks. The final author and quote I share comes from Sheryl Sandberg. She said, the most important career choice is choosing a supportive partner in life. She went on to explain her experience with choosing a spouse. To expand the supportive partner label, maybe consider those that have partnered with you on your life's journey so far. This could be your significant other, parent or parents, sibling, extended family, your adult or young children, colleagues at work, educators, mentors, the list can go on and on. Your life partners may be here in the audience today, sweating terribly, or watching via the video link, seeing you complete this goal. I have the best partners in life. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be accomplishing this goal. They gave me perspective, covered the gaps in my daily life where I left off to do coursework, and provided encouragement. At times, silence was what I just needed. I am sure when you reflect, you will realize you couldn't have moved forward without them. You might be turning around to look at them right now, being grateful. I wish you well with your new degree from Drexel. I leave you with the final thoughts of be grateful, empower others, show kindness, make good choices. So when the quiet times arrive, and you reflect or look back, you can move forward with ease. Good luck, dragons. Thank you, Kimberly. It's now my pleasure to introduce our second student speaker. This is Sue Ann Navarez Brown, who earned her associate's degree in radiologic technology in 2016 and will be graduating today with a Bachelor of Science in Behavioral Health Counseling. So. Good evening, everyone. Looking back to move forward. On the topic of looking back to move forward, for me, has been my inspiration. Every term here at Drexel University, Go Dragons, has caused me to look back and remember some of the most grueling, time-consuming, and hair-pulling days of my life. However, I would not trade them in for the world. I look back and realize there is so much that I didn't know, and that I am so thankful for the knowledge I have accumulated, and the outstanding support encouragement and quite often push that I have received from my, many of my professors and fellow classmates. Looking back to move forward is about remembering that we made it through a very long journey and during that journey we became wiser which has made us stronger. 
we have the skills and we have been trained to be determined to accept some failures and how to develop the drive for success. We are dragons ready for battle. Looking back at the time at Drexel is knowing that we used to be part of a program here and now Drexel University is a part of us. Thank you, go Drexel. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Deanna Schaefer, Assistant Clinical Professor and Chair of the BSN Co-op Nursing Program, who has been selected to recognize our students. We want to acknowledge those students who have received special recognition from the university. In the spirit of honoring exceptional academic achievement, we wish to recognize all of our students who have completed their degrees with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. I asked all students of all of our 4.0 students to stand and be recognized. Congratulations. I would like to recognize those undergraduate students who have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement at Drexel as reflected in outstanding final grade point averages. Students who graduate with a GPA between 3.5 and 3.7 are designated cum laude or with honor. Will cum laude graduates please stand? Congratulations. Those graduating with a GPA between 3.7 and 3.9 are designated magna cum laude or with outstanding honor. Will our magna cum laude graduates please stand? Congratulations. Students graduating with a GPA of 3.9 or higher are designated summa cum laude or with highest honor. Will our summa cum laude graduates please stand? Congratulations to all of you. Our Pannoni Honors College students are among the university's highest achieving. I asked all Pannoni Honors College students to stand and be recognized. Please be seated. Each year at commencement, we present the Harold W. Pope Behind Every Graduate Award named for the late Drexel trustee. This award recognizes excellence in secondary school teaching and selections are made based on nominations by graduating students. One of this year's winners is with us today. I would like to ask Donald Little from Pensbury High School in Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania and nominating student Pelagi Papatamas to stand and be recognized. Congratulations. We also wish to acknowledge our doctoral students named recipients of college level graduate awards. Please stand and be recognized as I call your name. College level outstanding promise award winners, Kendra Ray, PhD, Creative Art Therapies, and Annalise Marie Coomerly, 
Masters Human Nutrition. College Level Teaching Assistant Excellence Awards winner, Leah Chow, Masters Human Nutrition, Jessica Liu, Masters Human Nutrition. <laughs> College Level Outstanding Civil, Civic Engagement winter, winner, Corinne L. Ellis, Masters Human Nutrition. I would like to now ask the Assistant Interim Dean Smith in the presentation of several Dean's Award. Each recipient receives a certificate and an iPad. <laughs> Recipients, please approach the podium when called. The Dean's Award is presented to a graduating student who has distinguished himself, herself, by providing outstanding service to the college. Anne E. Woolley, earning a BSN, has been selected as its recipient and was nominated by multiple faculty members. The Achievement Award is presented to a graduating student who has demonstrated perseverance and ability in the face of significant challenge while attaining his or her academic goals. The recipient is John Gee, who will earn a Master's of Health Science degree in our Physician's Assistant Program. He was nominated by Adrian Banning, Assistant Clinical Professor. The Community Service Award is presented to a graduating student who is actively involved in community service. The recipient is Kevin Carasquillo, earning a Bachelor's of Science degree in Nutrition Sciences. Kevin was nominated by Dr. Stella Volpe, Professor and Chair of the Nutrition Science Department. The Clinical Service Award is presented to a graduating student who has demonstrated exemplary work through interdisciplinary and clinically relevant work aiming to treat underserved communities at his or her clinical placement. The recipient is Nahida Ramin, earning a Bachelor's of Science degree in Health Science. Nahida was nominated by William Dandria, Assistant Clinical Professor. The Social Justice Research Award is presented to a graduating student whose thesis or research is innovative in improving health and reducing health disparities of communities. The recipient is Mariah Kesselman, earning a Master's of Arts in Art Therapy and Counseling. Mariah was nominated by the Department of Creative Art Therapy faculty, including Dr. Natalia Carton, Associate Clinical Professor, and Directors and Assistant Clinical Professors. Yasmin Away and Michelle Radigan. Congratulations to our deserving recipients. I'm particularly delighted to announce David Bayada, who will deliver this year's keynote address. Provost Blake spoke of David's being an incoming CEO of Bayada Home Health Care and advised us of the breadth and reach of this worldwide health care provider. Bayada has a long, been a long-standing supporter of the College of Nursing and Health Professions. Our relationship began in 2004 when Mark and I, Anne Biata initiated the Biata Awards for technological innovation in healthcare, as well as practice and education here at Drexel. Mark and Anne are with us today, as is David's wife, Mindy. Please stand and be recognized.
In 2015, Beata established the Beata Health Home Health Speaker Series at the college, serving to promote intellectual stimulations, enhance the quality of student life and faculty development, and allowing for deserved recognition of our annual Biata Award winners. Please give a warm welcome to David Biata. Good evening. Students, distinguished guests, Drexel trustees, Provost Blake, Interim Dean Smith, parents, faculty, professional staff, and of course, our graduates. I'm truly honored to be here today to recognize and celebrate all of these incredible achievements. This event is truly a special opportunity to recognize your collective hard work, and I'm particularly energized by the opportunity to be able to highlight this milestone in the life and career of each graduate whose choice to pursue a health profession is a choice to help others, a choice that will benefit so many more people that you will touch throughout your careers. About three months ago, as I do often, I came to West Philadelphia to visit a client of Bayauta Home Healthcare that I'll call Mr. Jones. It was about 8.45 in the morning, my scheduled arrival time, and I knocked on the door after taking the elevator to the 21st floor of the University Plaza, University Square apartment building on Market Street in West Philly. No answer. I waited a few minutes, knocked again, no answer. Finally, after 10 minutes, the door cracked open allowing me just to peek inside and finding Mr. Jones literally hanging on his rolling walker. Unable to walk on his own, Mr. Jones' electric wheelchair was on the fritz, forcing him to use the walker to drag himself, taking 15 minutes to drag himself across his small studio apartment. I stepped in, grabbed him underneath his arms, and carried him into the apartment where I propped him up awkward, awkwardly on a seat. He was completely worn out, and with speech that was difficult to decipher, he ranted on about his frustration with the wheelchair, his only lifeline to the outside world. Mr. Jones is 78 years old with cerebral palsy, and the state Medicaid program provides multiple services that we and others in the community are able to provide, including eight hours a day of a home health aide that helps Mr. Jones remain relatively independent at home. But it wasn't until 10 minutes later, as I'm sitting on the couch, trying to calm Mr. Jones down, when Mary, his aide, arrived at her regularly scheduled time. Mr. Jones was finally able to calm down. She's like an angel, totally tuned into his every need, his anxieties, bringing him peace, comfort, just by her presence. I help lead a company, Beata Home Healthcare, that provides care in the home for thousands and thousands of people like Mr. Jones. And for me, the opportunity to support people like Mary and help them connect with the compassion in their heart and the desire to help others is truly a gift. Through this work, I get the opportunity to meet so many Mr. Joneses. And it continuously reminds me about the uniqueness of each and every person's health and wellness needs and preferences. I've learned that sitting on their living room couch, having a conversation at, the, at their kitchen table, is an incredibly powerful place to make a difference. The home is where you observe shag rugs that create fall risk, where you notice the high sodium foods that create hospitalization risk, where you hear about Mrs. Mr. Jones's cousin John that he desperately wishes he could be healthy enough to visit. The home is where you find the contents of 10 medication bottles all dumped into a cookie tin, noticing that Mr. Jones is accidentally confusing two similarly colored but very different medications, leading to his five emergency department visits in the last six months. And the home is a place where there's no walls, no departments, no rules. Each home is different, 
and helping someone remain safe and independent requires coordination and collaboration like no other place. The home is the very definition of interprofessional practice that you are all striving to implement in your work. It's the place where we all work together to adapt to the patient's needs on their turf, not the other way around. Today, I'd like to humbly offer three simple lessons that I've learned at the kitchen tables of our patients, which I hope can help you on your journey to make an impact on the health and well-being of others. For those of you in the audience who work or have interacted with fellow colleagues from Bayada, these lessons may sound familiar as they are brought to bear directly from what we call the Bayada Way, our statement of values. Number one, listen closely, show empathy, and respond to the needs of others. Helping others starts with a willingness to listen, connect, and tune in. Your perception of their goals and needs might be biased or distorted based on your own preferences. Making the most meaningful impact is dependent on your willingness to take the time to sit at the proverbial kitchen table and listen. Number two, set specific goals and work hard and efficiently to achieve them. There is no more powerful force than a clear goal. You are all here because you set a goal to get here. What will your next goal be? I challenge you to think big, write it down, think about it often. You'll be amazed at what you can accomplish once you put it out there. And number three, be creative, flexible, and determined. Reaching your goals will never be easy. Like the patients we care for, ups and downs are inevitable. But I always find that those that are willing to think differently, adapt to change with an unrelenting determination, will inevitably overcome almost any obstacle. When I look out at all of you graduates here, I get so excited about the op your opportunity to lead the continued evolution of healthcare. Each of you has in your heart a desire to help others. And regardless of your area of focus, the population you hope to impact, or the setting in which you choose to practice, my hope is that you will regularly envision yourself at the proverbial kitchen table, alongside your colleagues from every health profession, putting the needs and goals of your patients at the center and working together as a compassionate, interprofessional team. On behalf of all of the Mr. Joneses out there, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you and congratulations. now the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's time to, it's time to actually graduate. It's time to individually recognize all our graduates assembled today. The names of our graduates will be announced by uh, the following faculty members, Yasmin Awes, Brathley Anberg, Virginia Wilson, and Drs. Teresa Campo, Nancy Gerber, Stella Lucia, Volpe, and Linda Wilson. Dr. Michael Bruneau and Lauren Karch will assist with distribution of the scrolls. Just so you know, before we all start, we will have a photographer here that's going to be taking congratulatory pictures as you make your way past the dean and the provost. So there are stops along the way. Family members just know that we are taking some photos that will be available to you. Marshals. Please escort the doctoral graduates to the stage with their supervising professors to receive their hoods. Graduates earned degrees in couple and family therapy, creative arts therapies, nursing, health science in rehabilitation sciences, physical therapy, and rehabilitation sciences.
Daniel Pichola. Robert Eric Bulgarali, Tamaz Farrick, Megan Hughes, Lauren Ray Toma. Jacqueline Fissinger, Elizabeth Young, Kairindra Ray, oh, the professor is Girija Kamal. Michelle Miller, yeah. Marissa Rickards, Aaron Clausen, Samantha Merrick. Ashley Ainsley, Alicia Andres, Elise Marie Di Donato, Jill Shaw, Tina John. Gabriel Farber, Kelsey Cranach, Carter Alexandra Sheely, Ashley Bozert, Lauren Miller. Sue Ellen O'Neill, Kayla McLaughlin, Courtney Tyell, Christina Alexandra Hefferon, Melanie Ferdinand, Kyle Feather, Glenn Terry, Rebecca Schlesinger, Davika Krishnamurthy, Lauren Kainal, Melissa Daniels, Kelly Trussell, Stephanie McDonald, Eric Kurtz, Audrey Mazza, Laura Warren, Dorian Brody, Mizba Karisha, Kenneth V. Hardy,
Erica Borley, Albert Rundio, Kathleen Devine, Jamie Slaughter, Regina Saylor, Albert Rundio, Marianne Allen, Roberta Waite. Jean Marie Pertrelac, Elizabeth Gonzalez, Loretta Bassion, Patty Zazello, Dorothy Jones, Kathleen Fisher. Busy Andrea, Andrea Polisi, Linda Wilson. Eileen Gallagher, Patty Zuzello. Terry Washington. Barbara McGurgan, Carol Patton. Jonathan Gapalongo, Elizabeth Gonzalez. Cynthia Lilly. Albert Rondio. Amanda Jones, Linda Wilson. Teresa Kelly, Patty Zazello. Karen Vagic, Carol Patton. Patricia Ann Shirley, Rose Ann DeMaria Galilli. Uh oh, there goes the head. Barbara Worgen, <laughs> Kathleen Hartman, Kathleen Fisher, <laughs> Christy Martinez, Patty Zuzello. Julia Minoya, Barbara Postmonitor. Deborah Roebuck, Linda Wilson. Carol Ann Lopinto Blank, Sherry Goodell. Noah Potvin, Jokey Brandt. Alina Michelle Moncrief, Marlene Watson. Han Chen, Susan Smith.
congratulations to all of our doctoral recipients. Marshals, please escort the master's graduates to the stage to be individually recognized. Graduates earned degrees including Master of Arts in Art Therapy and Counseling, Master of Arts in Dance Movement Therapy and Counseling, Master of Arts in Music Therapy and Counseling, Master of Family Therapy, Master of Health Administration, Master of Health Science Physician Assistant, Master of Science in Human Nutrition, and Master of Science in Nursing, Advanced Practice, and Nurse Practitioner. Joanna Ferreri. Danielle Elena Bustin. Rona Edwards. Allison Higdon. Erol Baling Condan. Samantha Sikan. Andrea White. Adina Lula, Victoria Trinidad, Brandy for Brandy, Brandy Wilson, that's what it says, okay, Shishi Su, Lauren Nicole Elise, Kimberly Allen. Joy Ioka, thanks. <laughs> Jamie Dinajiris. Lindsay Bowler. Shireen Kelly. Lindsay Wright. Kimberly Hall Holloway. Well. <laughs> Mary Wilson. Lauren Cullimber, Michelle Angela Wagner, Susan Douglas, Jennifer Cover, Melissa McMurty, Kathy Daisy. Justine Kuroda, Beth Bachman, Bianca Cruz, Jennifer Handrahan, Kristen Reed, Kelly Scott, Erica Kagaz. Colleen Conrad, Lisa Marie Green, Rebecca Skelly, Jamila Davis Tindal, Sharon Kuhl, Onet Kur, Michael Steven Zito Govert, <laughs> Kathy K. Duquette, Susan Williams, Monica Atkins, Beverly Frenzy, Emil Jade Misa John, Paige Venita. Garland Hendrickson, Amy Scott, Laura Bouvel, Kristen Lynn Pilon, Lauren Frenaud, Karen Jones, Karen Lynn Jones, sorry. <laughs> Valerie, Valeria Mohammed, 
Adrienne Johnson. Kelly Linsky. Laura Neufeld. Brittany Bixler. Michael Wynn. Katie Lynn Berenger. Kelly Roebuck. Sarah Cohen. Giovanna Palermo. Haley Marie Gilmore Smith. Ersina Brown. Ivana R. Popovich. Suzanne Quinn. Alyssa J. Dragon. Peggy Sims McGowan. Natalie Sophia. Erin Guzman. Laura A. Steffel. Steffi. Sorry. Francis Schulte. Sarah M. Meyer. <laughs> Melissa A. Moshinsky. Michelle Parsons. Donna Mache Michelle DePamo Wilson. Deandra Othon Rojas. Cameron Napier Cohen. Jordan Elise McCain. Emily Smith. Kanika Davis. Kim Keela Critch. <laughs> Justine Barneo. Ashley Byer. Dawn Cooney. Julianne Y. Santine. J Jason David Pariser. Michael David Selvey. Jennifer Marston. Amanda A. Yost. Alicia Wilson. Alexandra Sofer. Kelly Lakis. Ali Campo. Leda Bargo. Robin Sarig. Yep. Jennifer Catherine Clayton. Cheryl Majan. Kelsey Hood. Lauren Elizabeth Rainey. Allegra Renee Hakawa. Naima Alicia Ali. Tabitha Copeland. Nordia K. Baxter. Luz Anuri Drummond. Kaya Ahmed. Stephanie Lynn Pantello. Pantello yeah. Angela Ferrari. Pamela Elder. Lynn Killoy. Latonia Collins. 
Jennifer Ann Sikortris. Kerry Echevanre. Oh, <laughs> Leslie Rogers Fox. Sarah Vulakis. Evan Monk. Ashley Maxner. Maria Lincaza Generoso. Marina Hall. Maria Gibson. Heather Dennis. Catherine Getz. Erica Lynette Moore. Roran Joy Abeller Sanchez. Rebecca K. Taylor. Catherine Linda McConey. Diane Teresa Kern. Deborah Kendra King. Colleen Miller. Priscilla Odia. Wanda Maria Parker. Alexis Reyes. Amy Solana. Robert Joseph Carter. Thomas Martin McCoy. Laura Bach. Valerie Elizabeth Maggio. Christine Ann O'Donnell. Denise Eldridge. Jessica Nelson. Amy Colucci. Carissa Montgomery. Taufik Adekunu Bello. Darnell Marie Lorick Grady. Brooks, sorry. <laughs> Jamie Baker, Suzanne Rogers, Stephen Riddle, Simone Camille Bay, Ashley and Devine, Alicia Remtula, Cara Christy Sotili. Tracy Sierra, Michelle Lee Wood, Kristen Van Horn, L Lubina Presley, Jamie Finor, Stephen Blasick. Nicholas Shimanera. <laughs> Moses Nigun, pardon me? Mugo, thank you. <laughs> Ubang Hudufia. Uh, Fumilida Oladumei. Is that close enough? <laughs> Halimatu Narbi. Aluchi Chilaka. Ajoa Amoa, Cristino Finzio, April Marie Leiden, Rachel Dixon, Aaron N. Gerhardt, Shaney Elizabeth Clayton, Kayla Renee Thompson, Emily Bradshaw Kine. Lauren Margaret Edgar, 
Sarah Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, Aaron Colleen Yamamoto. I won't shout this time. <laughs> Kimberly Dent. Malvina Sonia Everglian. Caitlin Nye. Leanne Mazone. Diane Macaron. Laura Danielle Johnson. Okay, ready? Monique Tia Seawright. Jasmine Johnson. Diane Latham. Jacqueline Montgomery. Eugenia Collins. Mispa Atta. Eva Donna, Donna Banag. George Potts. Annette Sexton. Susan Potter. Sandra Ewing. Amy Durland. Michelle Glowinski. Michelle Lynn Adams. Leslie Levin. Kristen Ford. Jennifer Frusco. Clancy Erickson. Mallory Marcotte. Jennifer Fraser. Susan Elizabeth Hupman. Amy Bashley. Nashima Sabri. Karen Eileen Leeton. Umandeep Singh. Mackenzie Sherman. Andy New Etron. Alexandra Brianna Rogers. Michelle Michael Salvadore Ortenzo. <laughs> Miriam Sela Bute Lazy. <laughs> Shewa Shewaya Solomon Mola. Stephanie Elise Eisenstein. Samantha Mary Heron. Rebecca Stephanie Chicalis. Amy Waiting Yang. Rebecca Leah Levy. Bryn Kessler. Geraldine Ferrer. Elizabeth K. Schickling. Jenny D. Bryce. Okay. Precious Rogers. Say that again. Precious Rogers. Precious Rogers. Kirsten Clara Sanders. Lauren J. Rumpf. Satwika Rahap Sari. Lauren Susanna Kunkelman. Erin A. Gallagher. Andrew Waddle. Julia L. Fink. Molly Elizabeth Brown. Christine M. Hillman. 
Maria Kesselman. Nicole Christine Updegrove. Abby Elizabeth Stonelake. Danielle Nicole Nelson. Alexis Ann Lombardo. Samantha Baggett. Newton James Rogers. Patricia Ann Muller. Lauren Hook. Catherine Marie Wharton. Sanal Iqbal. <laughs> Alicia Renee Jordan. Jerry Jul Julaine Hale. Charlize D. Hawkins. Connie Lau. Jordan Thomas Morton. Kristen Ann Wall. Nancy A. LaGuardia. Karen Ann Young. <laughs> Ashley Anastasi. Anastasia, sorry. <laughs> Nicole M. Garris. Derek Wilson. Raquel Amelia Rosario. Nicole F. Gravish. Danielle, Danielle Gibson. Rita Ann Duzak. Allison Lee Shore. Melanie Marie Irv. Annie Bao Charles Sam. Jody L. Herman. Ryan John Ponce. Stacy Ann Center. Daniel C. Turner. Benjamin Tavo Graff. Haley E. Kreft. Leanne Kindness. Danielle Elizabeth Talenti. Stephanie Lynn Altimus. Corinne Coco L. Ellis. It's okay. Jessica Liu. Leah Liu Choi. Annalise Marie Coomerly. Congratulations to all our master's degree recipients. <laughs> Marshals, please escort the bachelor's graduates to the stage to be individually recognized. Graduates. Graduates earned degrees including the Bachelor of Science in Behavioral Health Counseling, Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Health Services Administration, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Bachelor of New Science in Nutrition and Foods. Mega Patel, Nahida Rahman, Radiki Patel, Sharon Cherry Ann, Priya Limbakia, 
Amit Deshmuth. Kevin T. Watson. Samantha Rossi. Naridon Nerium. Sorry. Nashuni? Naizumi Hepburn. Bailey Anna Reed. Sharon Selena Zamora. Lindsay Gibbs. Sharon Moore. Savan Navarez Brown. Angie Anders. Stacy Cleveland. Denise Bruce. Sofavi Fong. Stephanie Tukarski. Kashmir Walker Speed Kashmir Walker Speedwell. Natalie Collins. Jacqueline Oregon. Kara Izo. Alyssa Taylor Real. Jessica Turner. Morgan Brandon. Julia Gallagher. Lauren Elizabeth Tilly. Maria Sumra Chaveska. Excuse me a minute, please. Thank you for helping us to preserve the solemnity of the ceremony. Please, students and families, stay in your seats and give others the opportunity to, thank you. Give others the opportunity to acknowledge their students just as you had. Thank you very much. Angeline Mulba. Azetta Shaw. Lucy Demo. Kayla Alexa Arontowitz. Alexander Fly. Teresa S. Tucker. Jesney John. Megan Melissa Culp. Ashley Nicole Kisak. Christine Four Chen. Julie Conway. Mary Fung Efat. I tried. <laughs> Christine Giltvet. Keegan Douglas Shannon. Nicole Jacqueline Winchell. Caitlin Elizabeth Lawler. Danielle Rose. Lisa Papadopoulos. Mary Teresa McGinty. Olga Savchuk. Abigail Dorothy Warner. Aaron Vaughn. Alyssa Aaron Foley. Matthew Joseph Alice. Colleen Elizabeth Keys. Gabriella Elise Machias. Pelega Papa Thomas. Stephanie Marie Carroll. 
Kirsten Hallstrom, Claire Seberg, Victoria Lynn Miranda, Kutiri Rose Donovan, Serafina Bills, Maria Kathleen Cruitt, Hannah Elizabeth Cranefeld, Gina Roller, Michal Huin, Tim Ivers. Delphine Nansermet, Caroline Ladson, Elizabeth Seward, Ernest Marcel Whitmer, Marlene Maldonado. Lamphy Vo, Aaron Ackerley, Maura Perney, Emily Harris, Emily Pappy, Marie Campbell, Jacqueline Craigu. Mary Catherine Freeman, Lauren Stoller, Cassidy Forsyth, Lindsay Eckersberg, Katrina Maxwell, Ryan Pishak, Aisha Ahmad, Madison Heisman, Allison Matecki, Brittany Lieb, Jonathan C. Mejia, Gia Fiordaliso, Amanda Owens, Leslie George. Anne Abwam, Christopher Bayona, Stacy Walker, Zahira Seek, Lorena Pugh, Naika Princima, Nantabeka Mandisa Rani. Kristen Lynn Casey, Lauren Riley, Eileen Rose Panza, Christopher Callahan, Aisha Vias, Karen Zhao, Haley Levithan. Shannon McCormick, Brenna Ann McHugh, Brittany Lynn Snyder, Elia Abidi, Roma Parikh, Meredith Bear, Amanda Lee. Alina Nikolenko, Abigail Z, Timothy Ryan Cowley, Susan <clears throat> Susan Zeng, Ann Elizabeth Woolley, Caitlin Rose Wilchek. Olivia Irene Kerrigan, 
Gabrielle Florence Shalansky, Kaylee H. McPhee, Emily R. Trago, Helena Michelle Krobach, Victoria R. Breslin, Adam Matthew Pearson, Hendrick Core Bullock. Thank you. Madison Stern. Rachel Lee. Kevin Carrasquillo. Emily Victoria Monaletto. Grace Garvin Krotkov. Chelsea Rose Saltzman. Brianna Aaron. Allah Eljabua. Paulina Cruz. Kristen O'Connell. Joseph Maloney. Ashley Elizabeth Rowe Joyce. Ashley Morell. Jacqueline McKeish. Sorry. Yi <laughs> Shun Yi. Chun Yi Tween, sorry. Yu Yao Huang. I see she did it backwards. Zhao Yu Li. Jilian Wang. Li Yi Chang. Naomi Hava Kemmer. Mune Brown. Mishin Yama Kalua, Jorge Gallardo, Ryan Lee Eller, Kimberly Hopkins, Karen Lewis Van Triest, Patrick James Walden, William Thomas Shagnon. Destiny Nash, Molly Gerard, Elizabeth Shaw, Michael Bates, Erin Marie Webster, Alex Justin Edsel, Lindsay Nicole Mateo. Jamila Watkins. Renata James. Kara Eileen Donnelly. Catherine Jensimer. Hey Bono. Haiwa. Sorry. Darlene Mancaruso. Diana Glinton. Lindsay Ann Dockerty. Cindy Jo Parisi. Tyler Dara. Jessica Daly. Caitlin Cassidy Newland. Woo! <laughs> no worries. Benjamin Anderson. Rebecca Pierce. Summer Court Bowie. Marianne Mallon. Desiree Calhoun. Crystal Wong. Brandon Lang. Jessica Woodruff. Sheena Lee Patel. Shivali Patel. Emily Arlene Shover. Davina Morjarie.
Ker Unje Koops. Jacobs. <laughs> Sidi Mital. Michael Joseph Campbell. Nancy A. Samoa. Colin Keller. Soraya Sultan. Dawn Lee. Toria Brini Richardson. Christina Kalini. Margaret Elizabeth Calamari. Christina G. Ivanova. Hannah Catherine Terrazino. Emily G. Duffy. Carly Renee Rees. Catherine Joanne Savoy. Paige Andrew Tyler. Nicole M. Parvisi. Kathleen D. Keenan. Maureen C. Thomas. Caitlin M. Grady. Cassandra Elizabeth Shaw. Damien Michael Dodge. Morgan Winters. Augustine Ligidi. Daniel Raymond Murphy. <laughs> Mariano Omar J. DeLeon. David Ningen. Tommy Duong. Elijah Morin. Jennifer Delgado. Mavlin Riviera. Asha Thomas Shunkaril. Ashley Thomas. Himal A. Patel. Allison Brown. Deborah Downey. Amy Marie Klink. Jennifer Marie McCormick. Nicole M. Andrews. Natalie Kazuski. Chanel Mariah Miller. Amanda Ann Giraputo. Amy Derrick. Michael Patrick Moore. Sarah Suman. Jenny Lam. Madigan Stiefer Johnson. Simone Renee Lights. Jennifer Ayala. Maria Blaze D'Angelo. Alisa Ala Jong. Olivia Mershon Alborn. Jamie Catherine Lyons. Lauren J. Barton. John Pulowski. Courtney Peters. Allison J. Taylor. Vincent Din. Danielle Nicole Bishop. Shaylin Medendorp. Michelle Marie McKernan. Tori Erica Graff. Holly Johnson. Helene Elizabeth Fink. 
Chandupa Abirutna. Christine Marie Berry. Leanne Christine Laporte. Patrice Joan McArdle. Carolyn Shell. Daniel Christy Mojica. Kelly Jocelyn Dennigan. Sophie Charlotte J. Chen. Nicole Joanne Dectus. Olivia Simone D'Angelo. Catherine Mysisto. Teresa Cook Rosenberg. Nicolette Maines. Megan Gasser. Diane Marie Barniak. Kelly A. Patterson. Rachel A. Newbert. Dana Victor Victoria Barbareri. Miranda Sierra Carp. Aisha V. Shah. Zanita Coleman. Kevin Dominguez Galicio. Irvin John Bautista. Rachel Berkowitz. Alexandra Billings. Maria Teresa Cristo. Jacqueline Charlotte Van Patten. Dawn Andonian. Jennifer Spencer. Leanne Gauger Knapp. Gabriella Elizabeth Bala. Whitney Burney. Kristen Ann Asak. Christy Lynn Mason. Jennifer Hughes. Natisha Fontleroy. Taylor Noel Moriarty. Jeanette Ann Ebal. Mary Mastromonaco. Tammy Gail Gibson. Jennifer A. Niven. Cynthia Ann Elkins. Linda Feliciano Golubowski. Sarah Christine Lavelle. Miorki Torres. Tuyet Lin Din. Anna Siegel. Joyce Monigal. Jean Marie uh, Gendel. Jenny Renee Kirkley. John Tanko. Christina Alicia Young. <clears throat> Brittany Gardner. Tina Marie Rivas. Sandra Quiles. Ilona Perlaku Frikshu. Shailise Thompson. Sarah Pons. Vrunda Shaw. Nicholas Michael Mahoney. Tony Nicole Ross. Lena Hassan. Madison Ann Young. Shane Phillip. 
Bilal Khan. Seth Sarpong. Louise Hewitt. Courtney Gullingson. Terrell Avery Smith. Allison Rose Levin. Nicole Elizabeth Molino. Lindsay Marie Anderson. Carrie Alexandra Fitzpatrick. Angelina Lamastra. Jennifer Ningen. Connor J. Schmidt. Samantha M. Launchman. Crystal Melissa Newfill. Jasmine Ross. Congratulations to all of our bachelor's degree recipients. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's have one more round of applause for all our graduates. Drexel University enjoys a long-standing tradition of involvement and participation by its alumni in every aspect of university life. We invite Dr. Deanna Schaefer, an alumni of classes 90, 92, and 99, to greet our newest alumni. On behalf of the more than 150,000 Drexel University alumni worldwide, including more than 25,000 College of Nursing and Health Professions alumni, I congratulate you on the occasion of your graduation. I hope that you will continue your involvement with Drexel as proud alumni. We look forward to seeing you at upcoming events and reunions. We know you will want to stay in touch with your alma mater and your classmates. The Alumni Association and College of Nursing and Health Professions Alumni Network offer many ways to do that and many benefits to alumni. I encourage you to get involved wherever your journey takes you. This is a proud day for you and your families, for the College of Nursing and Health Professions, and for Drexel University. I wish you the best of luck today, and as always, Go Dragons! In this ceremony, we have paid tribute to the graduating class of 2017. Now it's the graduates' turn to salute those who have helped them along the way. I would like the parents, spouses, partners, and children, and loved ones of our graduates to please stand so that they may receive the thanks they richly deserve. the members of the class of 2017 to salute their professors and mentors at Drexel University. Will the members of the faculty administration please stand. Thank you for joining us today. We are excited to continue the graduation activities tomorrow Tuesday, June 13th, with the university-wide commencement at Citizens Bank Park, where all the degrees will be formally conferred. We encourage our graduates and their families to join us immediately following this ceremony for a reception to celebrate the class of 2017. The reception is located on the lawn just behind the venue. 
We hope to see you there. When our ceremony ends, please stay in your seats until the graduates and stage party have recessed. Once again, congratulations, graduates. <laughs>